Hello, Xiomara. Hello, Rosalba. Welcome to the class. How are you tonight? I'm very fine, but I'm a little busy because I have a, a lot of homework from the university. Ah, okay. I'm sorry to hear that. When I hope that you finish. Don't worry. The night is young. The night is still young. I know. <laughs> Está temprano todavía. Don't worry. You are going to finish, I am sure. So, good luck in your homework. Hello, Henry. Hello, Rosalba. Rolando, welcome to the class. How are you tonight? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. And welcome. How are you? I'm very well. Thanks for asking me. And Rolando, how do you feel tonight, Rolando? I'm fine, I'm great. I'm okay, doing. fine. Very well. Oh, very well. You look so happy. That's great. Ah, okay. Very good. Hello, Oscar. Good evening. Hello, Oscar. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, everyone. How is it going? I'm fine. Yeah, everything is okay. Okay. May I say something, teacher? Yes, Oscar, tell me. Okay, mm -hmm. fíjese que hoy me escribió un X compañero, ¿va? pero me dijo que no dijera, ¿va? porque me dijo que me estaba preguntando qué tan, este, qué tan, qué tan conveniente era usar el Google Translator. Entonces, yo lo que le porque me dice, fíjese, fíjate que ahí no dice nada, me dice, me da pena preguntarle ahí en clase, que no sé qué, le me dice. Y yo lo que le hago ver es esto, no sé si le puedo decir, tal vez me ayude usted en algo que me haga falta. Yo lo que le hago ver es de que estamos viendo, estamos aprendiendo otro idioma. Entonces, el Google Translator tiene que servir nomás para, 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 para palabras, más no para traducir, porque estamos aprendiendo un idioma, no estamos asociándolo a nuestro idioma nativo. Entonces, muchas veces los meaning los queremos en español y yo le digo yo, mi no, buscate, por ejemplo, no sé si saben del word reference, o sea, los meanings son en inglés. Lo ideal sería que el teacher cuando nos dé algo, los meanings sean en inglés, le digo, pero solo ocuparlo para palabras, le digo, no ocupes el traductor para que te traduzca todo, porque estamos aprendiendo otro idioma, no lo estamos adaptando al idioma nuestro, le dije yo, no sé si está bien o correcto lo que le dije, ¿verdad? Sí, está en la mayor parte, está en lo correcto, ¿no? ya que el Google Translator eh, traduce literalmente, ¿verdad? las oraciones las traduce literalmente, eh, y en algunos casos necesitamos darle sentido, ¿verdad? necesitamos darle un sentido a las oraciones. Entonces, como dice, si sí es bueno para buscar palabras, puede utilizar Word Reference, hay una página que se llama Lingüe, que es bastante buena porque le da contextos y ejemplos de las palabras que anda buscando. Incluso puede buscar frases también. Entonces... Sí, Google Reference, porque me ayuda más. Yo siento que el Google Reference es algo mágico para el inglés, pues. It's very useful, yes. It's very useful. Uh, you can use Google Translator, but just be careful, right? Sea cuidadoso con que la oración esté bien traducida. Tiene que revisarlo siempre, ¿verdad? Siempre tiene que revisar esa traducción. Porque algunas veces el sentido es bien que... literal. Y necesitamos ajustar. Sí, y, y algo que yo tengo claro es que el inglés no es para traducirlo, sino que para entenderlo. Porque le digo yo, si de repente te, uno se queda con, por ejemplo, ese, esa, ese asocio le dice, si uno dice stop, o sea, yo ya tengo que entender automáticamente que mi mente piense que tengo que detente, no tengo que decir... Este, quiero ver cómo se dice esto en español, porque estoy aprendiendo inglés. No estoy tratando de cambiar el otro idioma a mi idioma, ¿verdad? Así es, por eso nosotros recomendamos que nos aprendamos frases, ¿verdad? Que nos aprendamos frases y no así simple vocabulario de hoy me voy a aprender 50 palabras. Mejor aprendas 50 frases que le van a servir, eh, va a ser mejor, ¿verdad? le va a ayudar mucho más que aprender así vocabulario suelto, digamos, ¿verdad? Me aprendo 10 palabras o por supuesto que ayuda, ¿verdad? pero es mejor aprender frases dentro del lenguaje. Ok. 
Okay, so Oscar, any other question? Thank you, Oscar, for your comments. Any other question? I have a question for you. How are you doing on the platform exercises? ¿Cómo vamos en esa plataforma? Section one and section two, ya las terminaron. Are you working on section number three? ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo van en la plataforma? Tell me, please. In my, in, in my case, today I finished. Uh, the whole exercises until section number five. Hasta la, sección, sure. hasta la sección número 5. That's great. No, no, no. In my case, I finished the two. Uh, I start the section three. Ah, okay. That's great. Very good. And what about the rest of the class? ¿Cómo van en la plataforma? Bien adelantados, uh, bien atrasados. Don't worry. Tell me. <laughs> En el examen intermedio casi finalizando. Ah, okay, that's great. Very good. So during this week, we have to complete section number three and to take the midterm exam. Midterm that is exam. the goal for this week. Esa es la meta para esta semana. Completar la sección tres y el examen de medio curso. But we still have time. We still have time. So don't worry. You can keep working on that. So let's start with tonight's class. Tonight we are going to study quantifier. So here we go. I'm going to share with you the presentation. Let me know, please, if you can see it. I'm sharing with you this. And this is the topic for tonight. Quantifier, how many and how much? What is the meaning of this two question? Do you have any idea how many, how much? What is the meaning of these quantifiers? How many and how much? Both of them means cuánto. And tonight we are going to remember the difference. Cuánto vamos a utilizar, how many, and when we are going to use how much. So welcome to the class number six. And this is the lesson objective for tonight. In this session, we will take a look at the quantifier to ask question and give out answer. So that is what we're going to start tonight. And we're going to start with this conversation. It's pretty safe. It's pretty safe. Uh, have you ever moved? Have you ever moved for another city, for another place, for another house, for another neighborhood? ¿Alguna vez se ha mudado? Have you ever moved to another place to live? O oh, ahí donde nacieron, ahí están todavía. ¿Se mudaron del lugar donde nacieron? No, teacher. No, yes, teacher. nobody. No. no. Oh, nobody has moved. That's great, too. Siempre, siempre de pequeño. You are living in the same neighborhood in which you was born. That's great, you have near your family, probably your friends, and that is great too. But look at this girl. In this conversation, this girl has recently moved to another neighborhood. So let's see, how does she feel in that place? So let's listen the conversation. Escuchemos y sigan la lectura, please. Follow the reading and listen. How do you like your new apartment? I love it. It's downtown, so it's very convenient. Downtown? Is there much noise? Oh, no, there isn't any. I live on the fifth floor. How many restaurants are there near your place? A lot. In fact, there's an excellent Korean place just around the corner. What about parking? Well, there aren't many parking garages, but I usually find a place on the street. Is there much crime? No, it's pretty safe. Hold on. That's my car alarm. I'll call you back later. Okay. Um, is this conversation face to face or is a phone call? Phone call. Phone call. 
It's a phone call. Phone call. Where does she live? Where does she live now? Sixth floor. On the oh, floor. she live in, let's see. She lives in downtown. Downtown, yes, she lives in downtown. What is the meaning of downtown? It's downtown, so it's very convenient. It's like the center? Yes, it's like the, the, cent the center of the city, yes. So it's very convenient, right? And downtown, is there much noise? Is there much noise? Oh no, there isn't any. I live on the fifth floor. Ya no escucha el ruido. ¿En qué piso vive? Okay, in the fifth floor. How many restaurants are there near your place? A lot. A lot. In fact, there's an excellent Korean place just around the corner. What about parking? Well, there aren't many parking garages, but I usually find a place on the street. No hay muchos parqueos, pero usualmente encuentro un lugar en la calle. Is it safe? Is it safe? ¿Es seguro parquear en la calle? Very safe. No. O sea, después no. Es pero, sí, pero no. Not always. Okay, and then it says, uh, is there much crime? Is there much crime? No, it's pretty safe. Comienza a sonar la alarma del carro. So, hold on. Espera, that's my car alarm. I call you back later. What do you think uh, probably happened to the car of this girl? Se lo robaron. Es de mala calidad la alarma. <laughs> Se activó sola. Ok, puede ser, ¿verdad? O le están robando el carro o alguien le... Somebody crashed her car. Let me see. I have a message here. Okay. So, do you have any question about vocabulary in this small conversation? No question? No. No, okay. Now, let's see. A noise is a countable or uncountable noun. Noise. It's a countable. It's not countable. Okay, non countable nouns. Very good. What about crime? Not countable. It's uncountable. In parking garage? It's countable. It's countable. Very good. A restaurant? It's countable. Countable. So as you can see, we are going to use much with uncountable nouns. And we are going to use many with countable nouns. Uh, is there much noise? That is an example. Is there much noise? Uh, we can't count noise, right? So then we use much. In restaurants, we can count restaurants. We say one restaurant, two restaurants, three restaurants. So we are going to use many. How many in this example? How many restaurants are there near your place? And the other question is that there aren't many parking garage. So we use many. There aren't many parking garage. Is there much crime? So as crime is an uncountable noun, we are going to use much. But we are going to study this later. Right now, I need to volunteer to practice in this small conversation. I have Rolando as a volunteer and also Jacqueline Lourdes. Thank you so much. So, Rolando, you are Nick. And Jacqueline, you are Pam. Tell me, Jacqueline, how do you like your new apartment? I love it. It is downtown, so it's very convenient. Downtown? Is there much noise? Oh no, there isn't any. I live on the fifth floor. How many restaurants are there near your place? A lot. In fact, there are excellent Korean places just around the corner. What about parking? Well, 
There aren't many parking garage, but I usually find a place on the street. Is there much crime? No, it's pretty safe. Hold on, that's my car alarm. I told you back later. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. That was excellent. Thank you. Very good pronunciation, guys. That was excellent. Thank you, Jacqueline. Thank you, Rolando. Any other volunteer to practice in this small conversation? So, Xiomara, do you have a question or do you want to participate? No, I, I want to participate. Okay, Xiomara and Oscar. Thank you. So, Oscar, you are Nick. Xiomara, you are Pam. Oscar, turn on your microphone, please. Sorry. <laughs> How do you like your new apartment? I love it. It's downtown, so it's very convenient. Downtown? Is there is there much noise? Oh, no, there isn't any. I live on the fifth floor. How many restaurants are there near your place? A lot. In fact, there's an excellent Korean place just around the corner. What about parking? Well, there aren't many parking garage, but I usually find a place on the street. Is there much crime? No, it's pretty safe. Hold on. Thanks. My car alarm. I call you back later. Okay, appreciate. Okay, thank you so much, Xiomara and Oscar. You did a very good job in this part. Just this word, convenient, convenient. So it's very convenient. And the next is garage. And let's see, there aren't many parking garage. And that's in this part, that's. I hear things. It's that. That's my car alarm. The rest, excellent. Thank you so much. So don't forget about how many and how much. And let's see. Look at this. How do you like your, new, your new neighbor? Quantifier. How many and how much? Count nouns. With count nouns, we can use this quantifier. Are there many restaurants? It's a question. Are there many restaurants? We can answer using this quantifier. Yes, there are a lot. Yes, there are a few. No, there aren't many. No, there aren't any. No, there aren't none. So, hay muchos restaurantes. Hay muchísimos. Yes, there are a lot. Yes, there are a few. Hay unos pocos. Unos cuantos. No, there aren't many. No, no hay muchos. No, there aren't any. No hay ninguno. No, there are none. No hay ninguno. So you can use one of these to answer this question. If they are count nouns. Si son nombres contables, podemos utilizar estos quantifiers. A lot, a few, many, any, and none. Now, we have this question, how many restaurants are there? There are 10 or 12. So how many is asking for a number? Cuantos, un número. How many restaurants are there? There are 10 or 12. Hay 10 o 12. Now, non-town nouns. Crime is a non-town noun. So is there much crime? We can use a lot. A little, much, any, and none. So a lot, we can use a lot in both countables and uncountable nouns. A few, unos pocos, si es contable. A little, si es incontable, para decir poco. Many, si es contable. Much, si es incontable. Any and none, we can use in both. No, there isn't any. No, there's none. How much crime is there? How much crime is there? There's a lot of strip crime. So, ¿cuánto? ¿Qué cantidad de crimen hay ahí? ¿Cuánto? So, you say there's a lot of strip crime. 
es muy peligroso. Suceden muchos incidentes. So, do you have any question about this part? How we are going to answer using these quantifiers? Remember, if it is count nouns, we use a lot, a few, many, any, and none. If it is non count nouns, a lot, a little, much, any, and none. So let's listen to this example. How many and how much? Count nouns. Are there many restaurants? Yes, there are a lot. Yes, there are a few. No, there aren't many. No, there aren't any. No, there are none. How many restaurants are there? There are 10 or 12. Non-count nouns. Is there much crime? Yes, there's a lot. Yes, there's a little. No, there isn't much. No, there isn't any. No, there's none. How much crime is there? There's a lot of street crime. We I need a volunteer to practice in this part, count nouns. Rolando, can you ask the question, please? Any other volunteer? Any other volunteer? Tell me, help me with this. Yes, teacher. I have. Okay, Rolando and who we'll say yes? Yes, uh, Henry. Okay, Henry. Rolando and Henry. Tell me, Oscar. Are there many restaurants? Yes. Oh, not, not me, Rolando. Henry. Yes. Uh, conmigo. <laughs> okay. Rolando, Henry. Okay, Henry. Tell me, Henry. Are there many restaurants? Yes, there is. Are love. Uh, yes, there are are a few. A few. No, there aren't uh, money. No, there aren't army. Any. Uh, no, there aren't nomin. No How many Russians are there? There are ten or 12. Okay. Is there, is okay, there yes. much crime? No, yes, sir. Okay, Rolando, yeah, just, just a minute. Okay. So Take look at this. Yes, there are. Yes, there are a lot. Yes, there are a few. No, there aren't many. No, there aren't any. No, there are none. No, there are none. Para decir que no hay nada, podemos decir no, there aren't any. O la otra sería, no, there are none. That is the other option. Okay. So, thank you so much. Thank you very much. Who wants to read the next example? Yeah. Juan, thank you. Juan, Francisco, and... Let's see. Lorena, Patricia, thank you. So, Juan, can you please read the question? And Lorena, the answer. Okay, is there much crime? Lorena, can you please? Yes, there are a lot. Yes, there are little. No, there isn't much. No, there isn't any. No, there's none. How much crime is there? There's a lot of street cream. Thank you very much. Thank you, Juan. Thank you. So, crime, the last crime. Thank you, Lorena. Crime. crime. Yes. Crime. Thank you. Much better now. So let's solve the next exercise. Let's, how many and how? Let's keep in mind. Uh, here are these example quantifiers, counts, nouns, quantifier, non count, quantifier. So don't forget about this. For count nouns, a lot, a few, many, any, and none. Non count quantifier, a lot, a little, 
much any enough. So we are going to use these quantifiers in the next exam, in the next question, in the next exercise. Here we go. Okay, we are going to use that later. Look at this. We are going to complete this exercise using much or many. So number much. one, there is much noise or there is many noise. There is much, much noise. Much. Okay, why much? Why much and not many? Because the noise, because the noise is uh, no count. Okay, no count. Very good. That's the answer. And there are much or many, many questions. There are many restaurants. There are many restaurants. Number three. There is much. Crime. Much crime. Okay, there is much crime. There is traffic, many traffic or much traffic. Much, much traffic. Let me cut that. Okay, much traffic. And the last one, there are apartment buildings. Many. There are many apartments buildings. Excellent. Is it easy or difficult? It's easy. It's easy. Okay, yes. You just have to remember that much is for non count nouns, and many is for count noun. So, any volunteer to practice reading these five examples? These five examples, please. Any volunteer? Yes. Mm. Thank you, Rolando. Go ahead, please. Read them. There is much noise. There are many restaurants. All of them, please, Rolando. Uh, there is much crime. There is much traffic. There are many apartment buildings. Okay, thank you very much. Any other volunteer? Uh, let's choose somebody. Graciela Alfaro, can you help me please? Can you please read these five examples using much and many? Hello, Graciela, good evening. Can you help me? Ah, okay, Lorena wants. Go ahead, Lorena. There is most noise. All of them, the five sentences, please. Okay, let's continue. Number two, there are uh, many. There are many restaurants. There is much cream. There is much traffic. There are many apartment buildings. Thank you very much. Yes, this word it's crime. Crime and apartment buildings. So let's solve the next exercise. Thank you, Lorena. Very good job. Thank you so much. I really appreciate your help. Let's go with the next. Let's go to the next slide here. In a hurry. And we are going to solve this exercise. We are going to use a few and a little. There is pollution. So Litter. Is pollution Litter. is countable pollution. or uncountable? No countable. No countable. There is a little pollution. Okay, there is a little. So it's a little. And the next one? There are a few shopping centers. 
there are a few shopping centers. The next one, there are. There are few. A few. few schools school in this neighborhood. Okay, a few. And the next. There is a little there is traffic. A little traffic. There is a little traffic. And the last one. There are, there are a few, few traffic lights. As usual, teacher. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I'm sleepy. A few. I'm so sorry. No, there as, are usual, a few. as usual, the traffic. A few traffic lights. So I have, there is a little pollution. There are a few shopping centers. There are a few schools in this neighborhood. There is a little traffic. There are a few traffic lights in the in the city. So Oscar, can you please read the sentences? Okay, let's see. There is a little pollution. There are a few shopping centers. There are a few schools in this neighborhood. There is a little traffic. There are a few traffic lights in that city. Thank you so much. That was excellent. Now, Giselle, Giselle Marie, can you help me? <clears throat> Do it, Giselle, please. Can you please read these examples? Lorena, do you have a question or do you want to participate? Yes. Okay, you can start, please. Read, Lorena. Thank you. There is a little pollution. There are a few shopping centers. There are a few schools in this neighborhood. There is a little traffic. There are a few traffic lights in the city. Oh, that was perfect. Thank you, Lorena. Any other volunteer? I have three here. Um, Stephanie? There is a little population. There are a few shopping centers. There are a few schools in the neighborhood. There is a little traffic. There are a few traffic lights in the city. Thank you very much. Just this word, pollution. Pollution. I heard population, but oh, it was population. That is pollution. Thank you. The last volunteer, the last volunteer, I have Kisel. There is a little pollution. There are a few shopping centers. There are a few schools in this neighbor. There is a little traffic. There are a few traffic lights in the night in the city. Lights in this in the city. Thank you. Let's go with the next exercise here. Just give me a second. Here is the next. We are going to complete using is and any or aren't any in this part. Can you tell me please? To solve this exercise? There aren't any. Number there, one, there aren't, there aren't any, any in this part of town. This town. Aren't okay. any. You say aren't, aren't any. Aren't any. Aren't any. There aren't any taxis in this part of town. Number two, there is a any traffic there isn't any there isn't any traffic the next there, there isn't any public transportation officers 9 p.m okay there isn't any public transportation after 9 p.m there isn't any Number four. Aren't any. Aren't any. Thank you. Parking space. And the next. 
Is there isn't any crime? Okay, there isn't any crime. There isn't any crime. Anyone here to read these examples? Yes, one volunteer, please. Rolando, thank you so much. Uh, there are any taxis in the part of town. There isn't any traffic. There isn't any public transportation after 9 p.m. There aren't any parking space. There isn't any crime. Okay. Thank you so much. Very good job, Rolando. That was excellent. Any other volunteer, please, to read this example? Ah, I have three people here. Thank you, Jacqueline. And then Xiomara and then Suleima. There aren't any taxis in this in this part of town. There isn't any traffic. There isn't any public transportation after 9 p.m. There aren't any parking space. There isn't any crime. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Jacqueline Xiomara. Can you please start? There aren't any taxis in this part of town. There isn't any traffic. There isn't any public transportation after 9 p.m. There aren't any parking space. There isn't any crime. Okay, thank you. Very good job. That was excellent. And I have here Suleyma. Can you please? Um, there aren't any taxis in this part of town. There isn't any traffic. There isn't any public transportation after 9 p.m. There aren't any parking space. There, uh, there isn't any crime. Thank you very much. That was excellent. And I have another volunteer here. And it's Lorena. Can you please do it? There aren't any taxis in the part of town. There is, isn't any traffic. There isn't any public transportation after 9 p.m. There aren't any parking space. There isn't any crime. That was excellent. Thank you so much. Now let's come back to the map that we saw before. And I'm going to ask you a couple of questions. Okay, here we go. Here is the map. How many hotels are in this city? How many hotels? There are many two hotels. There are many hotels? Two hotels. Oh, there are two. Okay. Two hotels. Okay, how much garbage? are in this city. How much garbage is in this city? No, there is not. There is no garbage teacher. Oh, and then see, there is an any or oh, there is there is none. There is not there is any. None. No, there, there is none. none. How many grocery stores are there in this city? There are a few. There are a few? Grocery stores. Okay, that's excellent. Is there any hospital? Is there any hospital in this city? No, there is any. Okay. Are there some trees in this city? Yes, there are much trees. Much or many? Yes, there are many. Many, many. Ah, okay, many. And let's see. Um, are there many people in this city? Yes, there are three 
people in the city. Three people in the city. Okay, now do you have any question? Do you have any question about the nice topic? No. No. No question. Teacher. Yes. So when using much, the noun will be always being singular. Well, for example, in which sentence? It could be the use, the right, patient, happiness. I yeah, think I... that I did not, I think that the noun will always be singular, right? Yes, because it's uncountable. So the noun is always in singular. Okay, now you are going to share with your classmate. We are going to have in the breakout rooms and you are going to share it, uh, which places are there in your neighborhood and how much or how, how much crime, for example. Uh, we are going to share with your classmate this. Let's see, for example, this question. We are going to use this. Is there much crime? So, Rolando, is there much crime in your neighborhood? No, there, there isn't. No, there's no. No, there isn't. Uh, no, there isn't. No, there's any. none. Oh, no, there's none. Okay. So, Mara, do you have a question? Yes, uh, but not with this topic. It is for the platform. Okay, tell me. What's your problem? Sorry, it's uh, with the microphone. Close. It is with the exercise three. Uh, Three at 11. Three I don't 11. know why. Yes, 3 11. Okay. Um, ¿Le parece si al final de la clase lo vemos? Ahorita vamos a trabajar en los breakout rooms y después vemos el ejercicio okay. en la plataforma. Okay, thank you, Samara. Okay. So now you are going to practice with your classmates saying this question Are there many restaurants? For example, prepare at least five questions. Prepare por lo menos cinco preguntas para hacerle a su compañero. Are there many restaurants in your neighborhood? So you say, yes, there are a lot. Yes, yes there are, there are a lot. few. No, there are many. Or you few. can ask for how many, how many bakeries are there? How many bakeries are there in your neighborhood? How many bakeries? And you say there is one, there are two, there are three. Are there many schools in your neighborhood? So prepare five, at least five questions. And also you can use non-count nouns. Is there much crime? Is there much uh, pollution? Is there much noise? Are there many people there? So are you ready? Prepare your questions. Are there many? Is there much? How many and how much? Let me know when you're ready, please. Are there many clinics? Are there many church? Are there many hospitals? Are there many hotels? Are there many supermarkets? or a grocery store. Or you can be more specific and ask how many, how many clinics are there? How many 
streets are there? Is there much traffic? Is there much noise? So do you have your question? Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. Oh, what about the rest of the class? Are you ready? Can we go to the breakup rooms? Yes, if you're ready. Okay, thank you, Oscar. Here we go then. Ask the question to your classmate, please. Here we go to the breakout room. We are 14 to 9. Here we go. You are going to have, let's see, six minutes, six minutes to complete this exercise. Six to 10 minutes. Here we go. No, there isn't any. Eh, no, hay no mucho. O sea que no sería, no there isn't much, no mucho. Uh -huh, Porque there is, no, no there isn't any, there casi isn't nada. Much. Okay. Uh -huh. Sí, sí, no there isn't much. Okay. How much noise is there? Uh, ¿Qué tanto ruido hay ahí? How much uh, noise is there? There are a few. Ah, no. Ahí este tendría que ser a little. Si hay un poquito, yes, there's a little. A little. Or, or any. Uh -huh, a little. Or any. Okay. Yeah. Uh, How many hospitals are there? Um, bueno, te lo repito. Are there many hospitals? Yes, there are, there are a few. There are a few, are good ones. Uh, how many hospitals are there? ¿Cuántos? Um, One, two. These are two hospitals. Two hospital, public hospital, hospital or 
public hospital. Sí. Public privado. Hospital. ¿Cómo se dice profesor privado? Private. Private, Private hospital. Que okay, por lo general se llama más privados. Uh, are there uh, pet hospital? No. There are, are, are there many pet hospital? No, there aren't any pet hospital. Uh, how many pet hospital are there? Um, there are, there are no pet hospital. In Antiguo Cuscatlán, there are one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, yes, I'm going to show you again the answer, right? So don't forget, please, about these countdowns. You have to say, yes, there are a lot. Yes, there are a few. No, there aren't many. No, there aren't any. No, there are one. Okay. Esto es para los contables. Para los no contables es a lot. A little, a little, para decir un poco, dice a little, eh, no there isn't much, no there isn't any, and no there's none. No. And how many? How many persons? Then you say, there there, there, you can just, no there aren't, there aren't any, no there are none. How much crime is there? So you say there's a lot, there's a little, there isn't much, no, there isn't much. No, so you can use no. these answers. Okay, you are doing a great job, right? Very good question and very good answer. Thank you, Rolando. Thank you, Graciela. Okay. Keep Thank practicing. You. Continue practicing. Okay. Uh, I, Thank you. Uh, I guess it's Graciela's turn to ask the question. Okay. Yes. Are there many There is ¿Cómo? Eh, cuando aparece, digamos, eh, cuando no aparece un R o I, eh, se podría decir eh, dear, dear is o this are. Un ejemplo. ¿no? Es que, ajá, es que el there es de que está en un lugar y está el lugar. is es la persona, eh, si es singular o plural. Ah, ok. Entonces, okay. por eso se usa el isn't de manera negativa y sí. el aren't también de manera negativa. De manera negativa, correcto. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Yo te practico. <risa> Vaya. Eh, oh, Le hago otra pregunta. Vaya. Vaya. Eh, are there many eh, comida rápida? Que sería... Fast food. Fast food. Uh -huh. Fast food restaurant. The restaurant. Ah, okay. Fast food, the restaurant. Are there many fast food and restaurant? It's just fast food restaurants. Are fast there many fast food restaurants? Fast food restaurant. Okay. No, they... No, they are in fast food restaurant. Okay, excellent. Okay. okay. Um, are, there, <laughs> perdón. are there many hospitals? Um, no, no, there aren't many hospitals. No, there are many hospitals. Yes, that's the right answer. Okay. Okay. And, and are there many 
Eh, eh, permítame, aquí me equivoqué, perdón. I did it many, I did it many eh, videojuegos en console. Oh, you say arcade in this. I arcade. Okay. Arcade. Es los lugares donde hay videojuegos. Arcade. Correcto. Are there many arcades? I don't understand. Uh, si hay lugares donde se juegan videojuegos. Ay, maquinitas. Ah, ya, ya. No, they are in. No, they are. Ah, ok. Um, are there... Are there church near your home? Eh, ah, per, perdón. Are there many church near your home? Sería. Eh, yes, there are a lot. Okay. Very, very good answer. Okay, you are doing a great job. Uh, keep practicing. Thank you. Hello, Xiomara. Hello, Kenny. Hello, Lorena. Rubén. Graciela. Welcome. Hello, Rolando. Welcome to the class again. How was your practice? Excellent. Ah, that's perfect. Hello, Jancy. How was your practice? Hola. Hello, teacher. Hello, Jancy. How was your practice? ¿Completaron la práctica con sus compañeros? Yes, teacher. Ah, okay, excellent. Kenny, how was your practice? Yes, I complete, I complete the practice stage. Ah, okay, thank you so much. So, how many bakeries are there in your neighborhood? How many bakeries are there in your neighborhood? What is a good answer for that question? Yes, there are a lot. Okay, there are a lot. Excellent. Uh, are there many fast food restaurants? Yes, there are many, a lot. <laughs> Muchos. Okay, there are a lot. Yes, a lot. Yes. There are a lot. Uh, <laughs> uh, what about grocery stores? Are there many grocery stores near your house? Grocery. Grocery stores. And then you say, no, there. No, there aren't many. Okay, no, there aren't many. Excellent. No, hay muchas. That's nice. Okay, before to finish the class, we are going to check the exercise. Let's go to the web page and let's see. I guess it's this. You say it's exercise 3.11, right? Yes. Let's check it. Eleven. it's a reading exercise. I see, correct. They work uh, in one neighborhood. El mundo en un solo vecindario. That is the title. They work in a one neighborhood. So yeah. what's, what's the problem here? Uh, I no. chose the, the answer, but anything is, is, is right. Everything is wrong. I don't know why. Oh, really? So can you tell me which word? Join six answer, teacher. You have After to check six. to read. Yes. I I think the, the answer is uh, be, uh, 
great markets, nice restaurant, many different cultures, interesting old building, and uh, a good public transportation. Many different but, cultures, inexpensive store, inexpensive good store. public transportation, um, good public big transportation. apartments, apartments. Uh, great okay. markets. Interesting old building is incorrect. nice restaurant. Incorrect. Interesting nice restaurant. Okay. Many different cultures. Y en good public transportation. Okay, yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Ahí está. Thanks. It's correct. Yes. Okay, let's try Ahí it. Yes. Tiene <laughs> 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 well, Slowly, uh, teacher. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, as you can see, it, it's working, yeah. right? It's working correctly. Yes, yes. So yes, try it. Yes. Try it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, now is it's very fine. Ah, okay. okay. Now it's good. Okay. Any other problem here with the platform? No. No question about this reading. No question no. about this reading section. No so, question, which countries are mentioned in the article? ¿Qué países de estos que están acá arriba? Brazil, China, India, Japan, Pakistan, Romania, Thailand. Korea. Korea is one. Uh, Chinese. Yes. China. Pakistan, Thailand, India. Okay, what is this reading about? What is this reading about? Anyone here to tell me what is this reading about? About the, the city and the, the neighborhood okay. of, of this city. It's about a neighborhood in a city. What is the name of this neighborhood? Astoria? Oh, yes, Rolando, Astoria. You are right. Astoria is the name. What is it? ¿En cuál de estos países está ubicado este vecindario? United States. Oh, it is the United States. It is in the United States. So what, what is uh, interesting about this place? What is interesting about this place? Uh, no answer. What is interesting about this? What is interesting about Astoria? You have a, a lot of places and restaurants and the, the people is very... Uh, Multicultural? Yes. Uh, okay. Very good answer. So you can yeah. find here. There are many people the different country teacher. Okay, there are many people and all of them are from different countries. So there are a lot of culture here in this place. Culture, oh. tradition, different kind of food, different kind of people. So it's very interesting. Would you like to live in this neighborhood? And you live, live, live? Would you like to live in this neighborhood? No, because I prefer my culture, Salvadorian culture. <laughs> okay. It's very, it's very, very unique. Okay. So, if you don't have any other question, if you don't Some have any other question. <laughs> <laughs> okay, don't say that. So do you have any question about tonight's class? Quantifier, how many, how much, a few, a little, a lot, none, any, no questions. Question teacher. 
Okay, if you don't have any other question, just please don't forget about the platform exercises and evaluation. It is important that you complete those exercises. Remember that during this week, you have to complete section three and the midterm test. So don't forget about that, please. So see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. 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 See you. Good night. Bye. Bye. Good night.